down. Let's get this done. Beacon here. Rain is backing off. Would you, really now in this position, would you save here or just like go for it? Because you do have the better weaponry, but it is a 4v1. I'd save. You'd save? I'd save. And, uh, save. and that looks like they would agree with you. The, the oh, play yeah, going on here for sure. She's just holding, she's just scared. She's just holding there, staying there, yeah. letting her, them come to her. Some and if good. they do, they might peek one by one, but right. they're, they're not doing that. They're letting her come to uh, to them. But she's being smart, not pushing, staying in place. She's just going to run time. Yeah, good. I mean, this is fine. Doing the econ damage if they push out, but keeping the gun, and that's what's important going into round three here. Almost definitely, because she can make sure she gets picks at least or do a massive amount of damage the next round. Oh, yeah. I mean, this is just a, a formality at this point, this round. You know, probably oh, yeah. not going our way for sure, but 1-1. One, one, so fine, we kept some weaponry going into the next round. Let's see what this buy round looks like from Carol. Or is it Carol? Carol. Carol, yeah, I'm sorry. Just pioneers. The pioneers, point. yeah. It's much easier yeah. to say that. Yeah. The, the pioneers, let's see what their buy round looks like. Okay, we got a Spectre. We got a Spectre. Okay, I think that was looted from one, one, of, our, one of the Eagles, yeah. yeah. Okay, interesting setup from the KJ here. That's very good because it makes it hard to shoot. Oh, yeah. Oh. oh, she knows the spot for sure. Yeah, most definitely does. <laughs> yeah, she's been practicing. Okay, Eagles look like they're talking about what exactly we're doing, but leaning A it does look like again. Having a, a lot in the middle, like that main, A main, I believe it's called. I'm not really, you know, just a lot there. But two going over to showers, it looks like. We're watching KJ hold the site no one's at, but that's okay. I mean, A site only has two defenders on it, and all five of USM is looking at it. This is going to oh, yeah, be a they, great execute. They, they managed to take out, well, now, no, never mind, because the Pioneers are rotating now, and they're just leaving. Just KJ on KJ site, on right? Site, yeah. yeah. If they maybe rotate and take out that KJ instantly, yeah. that'll be easy plant. But she does have her traps everywhere. Yeah. So you gotta be careful with that. That's right, the dog's oh, clearing. Oh, here we go. Okay, okay. okay. Two, of our, two of our eagles it is, taken out. It is the buy round from the, the pioneer side, but you know, you would like to see some economy damage at least from the eagles, but it's not over yet. We could still get a kill. Yes, most definitely. As long as she gets a kill, that's fine. I mean, yeah. She's got to be careful because if she uh, if um, she peeks around uh, that doorway in the shower, she's going to get eliminated from sure. like, different areas. Um, 
Yeah, that, that may have been a bad push really because most of our most of our team was in that middle area near Cubbies. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And so they were all taken out one by one. They should yeah, have I just feel rotated like as soon as one of them died. This might be Overwatch me, but I feel like we need to have a little faster tempo through. Oh yeah, through take main up space. for sure. Yeah. yeah, try to take up so space like, on the point. Don't be scared to rush. Uh, we traded some util early to find like at least we knew there was one there. We didn't see any more. I felt, like we knew we had five there for sure. I felt like we should have maybe pushed a little faster, but they're the professionals, not me. So yeah, you know. But look into this next round. It's two one. I think. Let's see. This will actually get to buy. I saw a bulldog. Um, <laughs> oh, bulldog. Okay. Okay, a li little creative wow. with it. You love to see it. Oh yeah, most definitely. I feel like if they could, if they bomb rush B and take out those two people right there, they yeah. will definitely have that sight yeah. because it wouldn't give them time to rotate unless they go through teleporter. Sky which have to be careful with. Oh, this is good knife. Good information on the sky, knowing ones nice. in hookah. Nice. She's suppressing sure. everything. Yes. Yep. I mean. The Pioneer is giving up a lot of space on B right now. Oh yeah, they could have easily but taken a teleporter. But they yeah, they're rot laser. Yeah, rotating the Reyna back over, but keeping two on an A. Poking the turret. <laughs> <laughs> Poking the turret just gently. Yep. Yeah, hey, you, you love gotta, to see you it, love to see sure it. Make sure you hit those shots. Now here, okay. since they're all there now rotated, they can take the teleporter exit. instantly. Yep. Just right. rotate. All of the Pioneers nice rotating, that's first Reyna. blood. That's good, that's good. It's a blind taken out. Okay, we're about to see the oh, skin, Sim Beacon really and low. run in. Nice, here it nice, is. Nice, here we go, here we go. All right, here we uh, in. I'll no. call it. Oh, nice, nice. Okay. Oh. Uh, that was a and good trade, but. Playing into KJ's KJ setup really. is really hard, yeah. Yeah, KJ wiped but, them all out. They probably yep. were vulnerable, I believe. I didn't know if she had a yeah. vulnerable bot I there. I saw the, saw the Molly hit a lot of those coming in. I think even a Molly kill from the KJ. I mean, KJ really the star player of that round from oh, yeah, the Pioneers. Oh, yeah, most definitely. Mainly because KJ's grenade, I think it's her Molly, yeah? Yeah. It does so much damage. And so especially much damage. if you're clustered, she could yeah. take out, like, two of you instantly. Uh, I don't know if you see what I see, but that's a Reyna with an operator. Uh-oh. Yeah, it's going to be a little, little dangerous. Reyna looked like playing A, playing really far back she's, on A. Yeah, she's staying on Haven, for sure, like, right up above them. The Pioneer is really liking this 3-2 split, it looks like. But keeping KJ on B, I mean, we just saw what KJ's setup yeah, on B looks like. she's got yeah. that down. She, she's not going to let anybody get on there unless she has to rotate. Yep. We see some util. Okay, we're looking over, seeing if there's anyone over there, but... Now we see their yep. Sky rotating on the other team. Yep. She's making her way over there to support um, the Brimstone and Reyna. Okay, our, our chamber is lurking up through showers, taking that control. Okay, we're about to They're rush out scared. on They're very They should fight. definitely push in like that. Um, oh, yeah. Oh, they should be taking Flash through. Space. All right. Here's the 3 two, one walking in. Okay. Yep, yep, yep. This is a Gotta be good angle on the, here. On the, I forgot what that little area that Sky is in is called. Yeah. Like right next to it. Oh, there's Dog. We know that Sky is there, at least, or Dog came from there. <laughs> Ooh, the Fatal coming out. I don't know how many of that tagged. I can't really, can't really tell, but... Definitely USM hiding a little bit from it. We get the plant down, so we are playing post plant here. We have at least a brimstone molly, so we're looking to see if we can stall that out. Ooh, Reyna finds Cal with the, the off shot. Yeah, they should have just they should have taken up that space. Yeah. Because that gave them enough time to rotate and that's yeah. they, they took out one of our I mean the own. Molly the Molly's slowing them the push down a little bit. Ooh, the, nice take this is good post nice plant here. Fade. Okay, good. Double kill right there. Double nice. kill for the fade. Nice, oh. KJ, nice. Beautiful, beautiful execution. Good round from USM there. Nice, nice angles, nice yep. angles holding everything. And that, that's just to show you the power of Brimstone really when the spike is down. Having that Molly able to take those control, like oh, yeah, control most of the definitely. site. Just oh, yeah. Cutting up the, cutting up the site like that. Yeah. yeah. I mean, you saw two had to push through and three, I think three had to, or yeah, three had to stay back, but two had to push forward because of that Molly and that, those were quick kills for USM. Really good stuff there. Oh, yeah, they, they were like, nah, let's let's get off of it, yeah. but they couldn't because yeah. they were, our team was yeah, right there's there. There's a Molly right down. there. Yep. Ooh, Chamber has the op. Here we go. Whoa, Chamber's really good with the op. Uh, yeah, so really I, good op here. I've seen yeah. him play and he's he's decent with it. I'm not going to lie. So yep. let's see Little how nasty. many shots he can get off. <laughs> okay. Looks like he's going back A. Okay, this knife's spotting, I believe, two. No. Oh, it didn't oh, just one, just time. one. Yeah, I didn't activate in time, just, sadly, though. Just raise, I think we caught. Okay, we're about to, looks like we're going in with the brim alt here. Let's see what they're gonna do. Okay, call. Nah, so using Ooh, a lot I of see the road. I like this. Yeah, they're yep. using a lot of util on that area, so that that they just yep. know they can just move away from it. Trading a lot of okay, going in through hookah on B. I mean, KJ is still here, but it's looking like a two v five, and we have brimstone alt. So this is really good. All right, boombot clearing hookah. Oh, there, Ooh, there's a nice, sky flash. Nice take down with that, uh, the bird. All right, dropping our smokes. Let's see where where these go. Okay, no, in. 
In CT. Ooh, that's, nice a, take that's out a good kill. That's a good kill. Sky. That's a fly out the way. You don't have to worry about those anymore. Good power clearing sight. Oh, it looks like it gets a little bogged, but that's okay. USM really hitting the W key here into sight. Yeah, there we go, space. there we go. That's good, the planning. Nice, 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 nice. Nice, Ooh. taking on the raise by our uh, brimstone. Great. Oh, uh, he's no, the, he no his elbow. Uh, no his elbow. Oh, I yeah, can't, couldn't find it, though. Yeah. It's okay, it's okay. Here we go. Still planted One down. We still have brimstone up. We still have... Wait, no, we don't. Wrong team. My bad. That's okay. Oh, good. Good utility there. Ooh. Nice. Yep. We have numbers. That's perfect. Yep. We just got to run and over. Nice. Perfect. See what I mean? Chamber hitting those yeah. shots with that op. What, getting those, getting that operator online, holding that angle when the post plant, for post plant, so good really oh, there. Yeah. Really. I think, I think playing chamber helps you get better with an operator, mainly because of his ultimate. Yeah. I mean, it's literally an operator. for those who don't know, the chamber all is literally an operator. Yeah. So <laughs> you, you got to yeah. be pretty good with the op to play chamber. I think we have a lot of ults coming up there. You saw the chamber ult. We see we see the fade ult coming out. You know, I think it's called like n nightmare. I don't know. Oh, the raise ult. This yeah, we got a raise ult, sky ult, Reyna ult, and a brimstone ult. Which, if we use them perfectly, I know Reyna can run it down instantly yeah. with her ultimate. Ooh, She's early, gotta be careful. Early out from the pioneers here, taking a lot of B main control. Looks like, but we're making our way up B long. Like to see this. Yeah, they're heavily fortifying uh, hookah, both rays, and I believe that's Sky on their t on the Pioneers mm -hmm. team. Um, but they're holding it down. KJ is kind of scared for her life right now in the yeah. back corner of uh, D. Yeah. But oh, um, using the Seeker is this early? Only catching two and breaks for it. Uh, they they know they heard all those gunshots. Yeah, they should definitely take teleporter right now. Oh wow, Ooh. rays wasted. Uh, wait, was it our rays? Oh. It was our rays that wasted. Oh, and our rays being taken oh, that's... out. By a wall bang. Oh, and Reyna holding the, the cross from the TP for our one of our initiators here. All right, going through TP. Let's see. Oh, Reyna knows. Oh, you see that? Oh, that's such a such a nasty lurk from Reyna. Oh, uh, there goes our brimstone. Someone's oh. in our spawn. Yeah, Reyna, Reyna just being so aware there from the, the pioneer side. Really, really impressive. <laughs> a really impressive read, actually. Chamber's going to meet our Reyna. Oh. And he takes out the Reyna. Such a big nice. one. Nice. He does have an op. Perfect. Oh, grabbing the Vandal, smart choice there. Smart, smart very choice. Very smart choice because they outnumber our team right now. So he needs to have the right. ability to be able to, like, you know, land shots instead of just, you know, having to one tap every and time. You may notice here, KJ actually rotated A and Sky is on uh, there goes our, Oh, there goes uh, our team. Good try, good okay, try. Good try, good try. Good try, good try. Some well, good, good econ damage, though. Reyna yeah. finding a really good lurk in the, the later rounds. But, you know, still 4 3. This half is still really close. Our team is holding up pretty well against the uh, the enemy team right now, actually. Um, I'm, I'm pretty much pleased to see that. Yeah, 4-3, very, very, very competitive half, I might say. A lot of, tri like, not only is the rounds we winning very close, but the rounds we're losing, even though, you know, you could say, you know, they had four living, that was really good map control from USM to, you know, oh, yeah. go through the teleporter. But, like I said, Reyna just really crucially finding that lurk. Oh, yeah, she, was, very, she was reading their minds at, at every moment, you know, in that, in Ooh, that, in that situation. You see, this, you see this weaponry choice from oh, our race? The judge. Oh, the oh judge. no, she's very deadly with this. If she okay. uses her satchels and just gets up close, she can take out two of them. Oh, yeah. Them. Sky is see if she makes it. <laughs> a lot of util here early from Hookah, just clearing man. Ooh, oh, caught no. with a util out, but that's but traded. But a good trade, yeah, good yep. trade, good team firing on that part. Yep, that's good, that's good. Both Boombots traded and Prowler. Okay, this is a little okay, little util uses. trade maybe. She's yeah. by herself. Oh, nice. Oh, that's good a take out. Good take out. It's just KJ on really point. Really good util to catch that raise out. Yep, yeah. they're Brimstone and uh, I believe that's their ring. Uh, we have the KO all. Let's see. Oh, uh, really good nice, wall nice there. KO Oh yeah. Out. Brimstone uses ultimate. Oh yeah. On Clear, their team. Clearing B. Okay, they, I, this. I mean, this is a four v two in post. Oh, the Brimstone all. Maybe just a little late, but still finding our fade. I mean, yeah. you, unfortunate. Ooh, that's a good trade from, I mean, not trade, but ca catch from Brinstone, I guess, lo looking for the post plants. Oh, that hold oh, that was really been good a from nice Cal. Hold. Yeah, that was a really good hold. She missed the shot from last night. Oh, the Reyna took the Reyna out. Ult, Reyna I believe, is yeah. on point. Nice. All right, we know she's knows just position, play just playing playing slow for time. Yep, she, oh, fun. she's going to go for that head peek. Oop. Oh, but she's smart. She's smart. She didn't, oh, she didn't move towards the ult, but she's asked to move forward because oh, of that volley. Oh, nice oh. take out. Nice. A little greedy from the Brinstone. Oh, yeah. He, he should have yeah. definitely like, just uh, faked it and just yeah. waited for our uh, KO to move out. I it's a little, a little, uh, little creative, I might say yeah, myself. Yeah, he, he said this is going to take <laughs> yeah. her out. <laughs> so, but Cal really just knowing that he was sticking it because you would expect him to fake it, right? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. You would expect him to fake it. That's what everybody does, yeah. yeah. And Cal was saying, no. No. I know, I know that, that you're sticking that and just oh, yeah. taking him out. Really, really clinical stuff from the KO player on the USM side here. Definitely. It was a bit greed on both sides, though, because <laughs> yeah. if he had faked it, that would have been the end for our team on that round. Yeah. 
And we still had some util, but we're going into round nine here. Again, looking at leaning a really heavy A. Oh, yeah. All oh, the, yeah, the, the, all the, all the all all, all right, the double satchel. Uh, 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 uh. Oh, we haven't looked at showers. Oh, she wasted it, but it's okay. Some good damage. damage. Oh, Chamber taking really heavy space. Ooh, Brim. Nice takeout good on catch, that, good though. Catch. Good trades. Still showers. Three, three. Is, okay, okay. Oh, the KO. Oh. It's okay. I mean, that's the power of Raze, right? Denying that plant. That's oh, yeah. She's very broken in terms of <laughs> the, the damage that she does with those things. Yep. Oh, but they hear them. Oh, they, they hear them they coming know, from they mid. Know. Mid cubbies. I mean, you see the Pioneers just holding, waiting for their team. And it's such, such good team play, right? Oh, look at the Reyna. This wow. might be yeah, an the ace. Is oh, the Reyna, I mean, just living in showers that long the whole round, like, that is... Very unfortunate for the USM Yeah, sound. because they were holding the, the angles that they would be coming from, like their spawn or yeah. maybe like, you know, mid, but they didn't expect showers. Yeah, they, they didn't clear showers even in the initial execute. Maybe maybe just not expecting Reyna to sit there for that long. Oh, yeah, because yeah. who would? <laughs> yeah, because, I mean, that, like I said, the Reyna, I think, is a little bit creative. You know, opping on Reyna, you know, very creative. I mean, I guess who yes. else would op in that comp? I mean, I'm uh, sure. I personally play Reyna. I have never opted. Mainly because I can't <laughs> land a shot, but I mean, that's a very valiant, yeah. like, you know, risk to take with Reyna. Okay, looks like USM on the eco here. You know, with the, fr the frenzy, I saw a classic. Yep. Looks like, I mean, we oh, know this guy is going to use this util yeah, dump every, every time, round here. Yeah. yeah. Just to get information. And she's using her uh, birds using as well. Flash, her yeah. Got to be careful go. with that peak. Lobo's looking around the corner, yep. but uh, he needs to make sure he keeps an eye on that because the sky is right there and also the KJ. Now oh, yeah. we see the rain. Oh, you see and this rays. flank. Oh, yeah, the this flank is, is gonna be crazy. This is disgusting. Oh, that's a good. Oh, nice trade out these. I mean, like I said, good economy damage. We aren't in the eco round, so really the objective. Oh, getting weaponry for Cal. This is really big. But the KJ all this is gonna be. Oh, uh, she was caught with the reload. Yeah. yeah, it always happens every time. Yeah, uh, and this KJ all really is just so good here. They really enjoy flanking. The Pioneers really enjoy flanking. Yeah. They're, they're oh, really... Ray's flying in with the yeah. Spectre. A little bit running gun in action there. You know, you oh, love to yeah. see that one. But, I mean, again, that that KJ ult, really just so strong once you're already in there. Most definitely. And you, you saw them, really because of that flank that came from the A players, really keeping them in the KJ ult. They couldn't retreat in time, got frags, and now we're looking at a 6-4 uh, scoreline. Yeah, I, now that they not now that the Eagles know that you know they're going to be flanking mostly mostly the Reina, they should be aware that there's always yeah. going to be a flank at some point. I, I think you see USM holding these flanks, but maybe holding holding the flanks they think they'll take. But again, very creative team from the Pioneers, and they really really enjoy having these creative flanks. It does appear. Oh yeah. I mean, at first it was just the Reina, now it's the Rays. Yeah. Because <laughs> she's just there. I mean, you saw right. Oh oh oh, almost catching the guy. Okay okay. Guy playing in hookah. All oh, this flash at not catching. Okay, I think he caught someone in hookah. At least knows. Yeah, if Simbler holds that angle. He could take out the sky instantly. Is that a spam or is that on B main? Okay, losing losing our chamber on B main. But that is that is a good kill. Oh, oh what a no good prowler here, knowing nice, knowing nice, the nice. position. Our is pushing up. Oh, nice good, good kill, good kill. From our, uh, base. Do they know that elbow player here? This is really my question. Holding, holding long here, good post plant setup, but one but they know the rain has in Yeah, one in Huka. Oh. That That's two of our players taken out. They need to call that out and make sure they're calm. Yeah. Because the cage is and going man, through elbow. This Reina is really uh, just having their way this half, it really yeah. looks like. She's running through our team, getting two picks, which are like essential. Yeah. And then just living, and also living, getting two picks and living, and then finding a third, even if they didn't find the third, finding two and living is just nuts. Yeah. That's just, they, they need to be careful play. with this, this Reyna. She's really good at flanking and she's yeah. really good at just lurking in general. And I gotta ask you, what what would you change up if if you were the Eagles here? Like for, maybe from a team play wise, maybe not maybe not the individual, but maybe the team plays wise. What are we looking at? Mm, well, I know they're taking up space a lot when they're pushing in on points. So yeah. That's good. At least we're getting that plan yeah. off at some point. Um, but I would say keep someone maybe on holding, the flank. I think the holding flank. the space is really like we saw that. Yeah. Earlier around, I believe round uh, nine, where we didn't hold showers, and we just had the rain <laughs> sitting in showers yeah, lurking, for that round. Yeah. yeah. What so they, what I would do is have somebody hold the main flanks because she's going. Through, yeah. She's coming through main flanks like right. Puka or like showers. Those right. are main flanks that people usually go through every time yeah. they want to flank on this map, yeah. especially. So yeah. I think we should have one of our people just just part of a holding. Yeah. yeah. Especially holding if, camp. <laughs> if, you, if you see four and you're like, okay, I don't see Reina. Hmm. But here we go. So, Pressure's in from showers and A main. I really like this, clearing the site before we're looking, and now we know no one's in showers and main. Good pop flash here. 
Oh, swing with uh, the Seekers. Oh, really good there from the They tried to peek together, but they the were taken out by side. both. Both by the Oh, oh, oh. oh. Now, 1v5. I've seen these one before. Oh, taking the TP. And kill. Raise is saving, so it's okay. Uh, saving on the last round. Uh, yeah. Not very not very effective. Oh, oh never mind. <laughs> uh, but sadly. Yeah. Hey, at least they, they did get one. Oh, yeah, they did. By the other team throwing a raise nade at them. But, you know, 8 4 half. I've seen teams recover from these, for sure. Oh, yeah, most definitely. Like, I've, oh, had, yeah. a, I've had a game where. On comp especially, where it was 12 and 4, I was losing, oh. and we made it back wow. all the way. It was a crazy game. And you know, the USM side, like, we, this is a team, so we know the mental is even a little better than those in ranked, right? Oh yeah, so most definitely. Eight four. You have that communication. Yep. And what we said earlier, maybe even preferring the defensive side, maybe feeling a little better individually for some of these these duels. Maybe the Reyna not able to find so many lurks that they were able to in this kind of the first half, where it was just like. Why is this guy in spawn? Yeah, exactly, <laughs> literally. Yeah, because one of those rounds, Reyna was in our spawn, just sitting there. And it yeah. was so random. But yeah. hopefully our race uh, can show out with, uh, with yep. your util right here and manage to get a couple of kills, or at least a lot of damage on the yep. enemy team. Uh, I, we see both races using yep. the bomb buddies. <laughs> yep, I mean, you just that's pretty standard stuff here on this map. Oh, yeah. Oh, looking like we were thinking about investing the molly here. Really interesting, okay. Definitely the pioneers knowing that they want to exec B here. It definitely yeah, looks like. But they're very okay, scared to do it. USM right now. rotating one player over, but still two sitting on A. Okay, now we're going over, but the exec is Other coming in worry. here. Uh, Sky flash to the Chamber back of sight. Okay, that's a good trade here. Okay. Ooh. I mean, the Reyna, like I said, just following up, using a lot of that space the team's making just to play Reyna, right? Like, once you have that yeah. space, you get the kills. And here's, here's the A players from USM. Good flash to the back of sight. Maybe they start walking in. Okay, we, it's a 2v3 uh, and caught caught uh, by the Reyna again. This guy, yeah, Mr. Is, Mr. Oog, what a what a guy. <laughs> what, what a guy. guy. He yeah. is having everybody on his team on his back right now. Yeah, just just like the true Appalachian Trail experience from the Reyna player. Just <laughs> carrying the whole backpack with four people in it. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. I mean I mean ranked ranked moment much? Just the crazy Reyna player just going crazy. Oh, yeah, I, yeah, <laughs> the, the the I miss her uh, yeah, the, the, yeah. Oh yeah, for sure, for sure. <laughs> Having no fear. <laughs> the Reyna on a Vandal. Wow. The second round of oh, the, wow. the half on a Vandal, the hero She's Vandal. pretty confident. Yeah, I mean, this is, like I said, USM not forcing here. Probably the right play just so we can have a full buy round next round. Let's see what they can do here. Like I said, Econ Damage is the name of the game for this round here. Smoke's coming out to slow down the push from the Pioneers. And let's see if we can get some rotates from A. Okay, already everyone leaving A. <laughs> yeah, the, th the, thing about, the thing about our Eagles is that um, they're playing as a team. They're playing yeah. really close together when on the other team, the, the, the Pioneers, they may be playing as a team, but they're letting their teammates... They're playing teammates, with space. They're yeah, playing they're much letting more their space, teammates yeah. do whatever they want. And that's what our uh, team doesn't get is that, you know, they're playing really loose. They, they, yeah. haven't, they haven't noticed that yet for some reason. Mm. They, haven't, they haven't processed it yet. Uh, kind of spamming. Yep. I mean, yeah. that, that's two kills. Yep. Oh, that's three. Three? Okay, okay. And okay. that's spiked down. Uh, still down, I believe. Yep. Is Reyna still up? Oh, Reyna's dead. Yeah, they took out the, the, the one of the important yep. characters. Okay, on their team. KJ did receive the spike. Uh, they have no util to check where they are, but I think they have a good idea knowing that Raze is lurking here. Yeah, they have a vulnerable. Oh, there's the. Vulnerability the alarm bot. It. Oh, nice. Uh, nice now nice. they know. They know elbow. They're just not. Pe this is so smart from the pioneers. Just really not peeking. They know that. They know that we have to make a play here and peeking. Uh, uh, good, try, good try. Good try. I mean, like I said, that was really just an eco round, a glorified eco round, right? The the pioneers taking two weapons into that round, but USM able to full buy this round. This will most likely be a round win for. Oh, USM taking the taking the timeout here. Out timeout. Let's see what we got. Okay. Let's see what we got. And. What do, what do you think they're going to talk about? Maybe just how loose the other team is playing and how we can look to punish that? Yeah, they're most likely going to point out that the, uh, the team, the other enemy team is playing really loose, but we're playing really yeah. catching us off guard yeah. you know, at the moment. Um, yeah. I think what they need to do is focus on just keeping an eye out for flanks. Yeah, for uh, sure. The Reyna's not flanking as much defender uh, Yeah, defender it doesn't appear so. I mean, this yeah. is only the second round in, so maybe not finding the opportunities <laughs> Not finding the opportunities <laughs> quite yet. Sorry, my mic popped off my shirt. But, <laughs> okay. you know... I really hope that USM just figures out that, not figures out as in like they don't know, but like really it starts exploiting how loose the Pioneers are playing on this on this map because- Yeah, use that to their advantage, yeah. you know, because the arena, if that arena and race flank like they did last attacker, attacker rounds, yeah. 
they can easily take out two important characters. Sure, yeah. Instantly. And, that, um, and that's that's free. Yeah, As that's we say free. in the Overwatch business, yeah, that's, free. Just, that's yeah. a free kill. Yeah, you, you take those for sure. And now we're heading back in. We, we're still a little bit before the round starts. Looks like we are are buying. Let's see the, let's see the, I want to see the defensive split now that we're on a full buy. I'm really curious what's going on here. Looks like we're having, it's, it's still pretty similar from our pistol round in our eco where we're just having, we're having 2B and 3A, but having our Rays control who goes pretty. Yeah. And that, this crosshair essential. is. Oh, this, <laughs> a beautiful <laughs> crosshair. We beautiful crosshair there. <laughs> oh, taking early showers. I really like this push from. Nice. They're pushing our Rays though, yep. um, but she didn't take any damage, but yep. they're pushing really hard. Their oh, look at Rays. Rays getting in, in there yeah, so Rays fast. Is, and, and Rays, Rays took out our one. Brimstone. Brimstone getting killed by our Rays, and that's, that's oh, but we really fade big. and our Rays are Rays is nice. holding our spawn. Hello. Good sandwich. <laughs> but now they got to be careful because they, they're uh, they're going through elbow as well. The enemy. Yeah. Got to be careful with that. And, oh, oh. Oh. The dog. Somehow almost. finding two there. That is just. Oh, oh nice wall bang. Really good. That's a crosshair diff if I've ever seen it. Oh yeah, seen literally it. Oh, yeah. a, a crosshair buff instantly. It's crazy. Oh, yeah. We just gotta right, be really see. careful with this. Uh, Reyna. Uh, oh, they should have picked together. Call with the util out. That's, yeah. that's unfortunate. Reyna just really finding these timings is just really impeccable. Yeah, oh, they, really they know good. Chambers here. Yeah. What what I would do in this situation is instead of uh, focus on Reyna too much. Oh. Even, I mean, or just kill out. the Reyna. Oh, I mean, kill that, Reyna, that, 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 that is, like, that is a good one. Kill the Reyna or take out the weakest link first and then worry about the Reyna. But I mean, yeah, hey. I mean, if you do that, oh, it's really stressful here. Oh, he knows. Does he know? Oh, he doesn't know. He turns his back. Oh. Oh, he's... Uh, no. uh, <laughs> yeah. He turned his back. Ah, uh, that's... And you see the Reyna go 23 and 8. I mean, that is just an absurd performance. Yeah, she is, she is carrying, yeah. carrying. Hard to carry. Okay, now we're, we're... Our economy a little broken after that round. I mean... Yeah. I mean, maybe... I mean, I do see... I see a Phantom. I, I'm really... Okay. I, I guess we're Look how we're buying this, some, this yeah. Round. Yeah. It's decent. We have three Spectres. I mean, that's not the worst weapon, but I mean, you see basically the full buy from the Pioneer side. This is looking yeah. pretty dangerous. I mean, and Reyna has all... Like, that's their star player. Probably going to go in there just looking for those kills. USM pretty close to the, the Nightmare ult from the Fade. Really want to see that and the Raze ult. I mean, so close here. Now, we can use this Raze ult pretty carefully and yep. smart. She could take out... Yeah, holding the angle with the scoreboard up. It's kind yeah. of... Okay. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I love this. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Nice. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's just RNG at that point. Okay. I like this cross. Maybe a little closer from the Spectre, but, you know, you, you take those. You take those. Yeah. Still good to hold. The dog oh, the Oh, but not clearing this this oh, Marshall nice, here. Nice. That was smart. That was smart yeah. on um, just not making any sound. Yep. But they do know where our chamber is. Uh, you see this Reyna control. lurk. Such such a crazy lurk from the Reyna. Wow, look at her. All she the way. is all the way at A. Now they gotta be careful because oh. they might catch. Oh, okay. Here we go. Our chamber knows. Okay. Our chamber knows. Chambers all heard oh, all. Oh, our chamber got taken out. And call. I mean that. That's the power of the rain all. Just literally better stats on the yeah. <laughs> from rain all. Instantly faster uh, rate of fire. Instant heals and, and look, invisibility. And, and you look. All of the pioneers rotate to A. Yeah. And and now. It looks like I'll USM. Trade right there. And right. USM looks like they're attacking the A, the A site now, right? Like yeah, it's kind of like flip flop. Yeah. It's kind of weird. Flip flop. I mean, let's see what this retake looks like. Okay, one. Mm. It's one gonna be interesting. Haven. She's just literally sitting around the corner. Okay. Hopefully I mean, she checks they, the corner. The way, oh, oh she I saw a headshot out. there. It did look yeah, like, but not able to kill because oh, oh, not the old. Oh, 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 nice take what out. What a great take out from from USM Cow. Oh, look at look at Cow. Oh, but she got domed by the man. I mean, this is a gun diff. Ah. Okay. Oh, the, uh, the thing about having your knife out is that as soon as you take it out, you gotta be careful. You gotta take be it out before those angles, you yeah. even make any uh, yeah. pushes on point. Sure. Because that will catch you off guard when you're taking it out because of the animation. 12-4 mm -hmm. yeah. on match point, but we have three alts on the USM side. You know, the the pioneers using the Reyna ult already and the Raze ult that round. So looks like we're gonna have a lot of weapons and some alts into this round. Let's see what we can do with this. Almost definitely. I feel like the... Uh, if the Kale can disable Kale's drones where she can put them out, yeah. that would be a very good clutch because we need to get Kale out the yeah, way oh yeah. so we can make sure we can secure uh, the, 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 the site, you know? Yeah. Uh, oh, instant takeout on our Kale. Earl's so early here. Okay, we got oh, Ray's this is really aggressive. Oh, uh, and taken out. She got out. stuck against the roof of the door, uh, the teleporter door. In a, in a 2v5 position here, this is looking a little rough here. Oh, good hold maybe for one. Oh, that's okay, it's okay. At least we have info here. And we have the old. Oh, this is gonna grab. Oh, but you already see the pioneers yeah, rotating, yeah, rotating the A. Uh, right this around, is such yeah. a smart read from whoever their IGL is. Like, oh yeah, most <laughs> he's like, yeah, no, go ahead and rotate. Yeah. He said, instantly. I know they've rotated over. We're gonna go ahead and plan A and 
the the eagles are still holding B. <laughs> and yeah, they're very scared. That's what it's because and look, already a spawn flank, yeah. already a spawn flank from the rays, and that's that's the that's map. Game. That's, that's game. game. And you know, not the worst showing, getting four rounds, but really the the Reina just being such a such a that, menace. That, honestly, yeah, the, she <laughs> was just in there. She was not letting them breathe at all. She was yeah. just breathing like, down their necks. Yeah, not, not just not, not able to breathe no. here. Yeah, I mean, biggest takeaway: the Reina, pretty goaded at the video game, but USM, you know, looking like we still still have some work to do. Still preseason, not the not the worst showing, right? Like, in the, you know, still getting some really good kills and some really oh, good yeah. util trade. Not but, only that, they're they're sticking together a lot. They're yeah. playing as a team, not as loose as they used to be. Yeah. Not only that, they're they're managing to peak more often together. But For sure. it's just the minor details, like yeah. keeping your gun out. Yeah, not, not running around with your knife out and all that For stuff because sure. it catches you with your pants yeah. down. I mean, how many times did I say got caught out with the U2? I mean, you look at, yeah. I'm looking at the scoreboard here. The Reyna having 394 average combat score. Like, what is, like, wow. hello? Is, is yeah. this a Reyna? And like, like, <laughs> and like, you can see the weakest link on the Pioneers team was their KJ. Yeah, which, they, which was, is so funny because their KJ, like, honestly was a pretty pivotal player in their strategy yeah, of just holding, holding down, down the B yeah. site, right? She was just there by herself. Yep. And uh, the other person that would be holding down with her, they would rotate instantly. Yeah, yeah it, they, all they had to do was focus on the weakest link and they would have been able to, to yeah. get those uh, rounds. But like I said, I don't even know if that was necessarily the weakest link because we saw when the KJ got pressured, she killed three. Oh, yeah. <laughs> With the yeah. setup. Like, very strong player. But, that, but that's because uh. our team would also not check pivotal, like, yeah. important areas on sites. Like, for example, when our chamber turn is back yeah. to the KJ while but, defusing. you know, like I said, this is a rookie team, guys. Yeah. And these mistakes, we're not, we're not here to say that. It's it's a rough, but it is, it is how it goes here, mm. with these new teams. And you guess what? New teams they learn really fast. I'll, oh yeah, I'll just do. say that now. Like, this like, is a this yeah. is an exponential growth from like last activation. Oh yeah, I mean just even finding some of those even tighter team play stuff. And I believe we have an interview despite the the hardships. And I, I really want to hear from the team just like yeah. what what kind of was going on in those rounds. Just like what. What the kind of the thought process is, even such from a rookie team. I just want to know what the thought process from, like, okay, you know, having a, a, a four eight half isn't terrible, but then just kind of that kind of derailing into that last half. Yeah. yeah. I like to hear from that too. I, I want to see how they worked and to try to work the kinks out and everything because yeah. it was rough to yeah. after, after, uh, after that one yeah. round. It was just yeah. instant steamed. <laughs> yeah. I mean, okay. like I said, it is activation, so going through this now is way better than going it through it in like in perhaps actual, the finals of your division, where yeah. you just kind of, you know, may, maybe there is not the best place to crumble. Yeah, uh, from personal experience, I can say that, but <laughs> you know, just yeah. really good that this is happening now, and we can have this time in scrims, in VOD review, to look oh, at yeah. the future for the Valorant Black team here at as USM. As long as they just keep looking at the the, 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 the replays of their games and just mm -hmm. focusing on what they need to work on. Yeah. I think they'll they'll yeah. go exponentially. Like, sorry, yeah. did I say that right? Exponentially. Yeah, exponent. They, yeah like yeah. you know, you know yeah, like one literally. of those. It's yeah. just gonna skyrocket after this. It's just I can't wait to see the growth of this team because yeah. they 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 have been they have been doing better. They they've been yeah. doing really great. Really looking forward to just like the season in general from this like young roster and even oh, yeah. gold is also like a pretty new team but like even just seeing this early into the semester right just like okay they've been scrimming for how many weeks you think like two two three. right and th yeah. that's like pretty early and into a team cycle and just oh, yeah. seeing them like figure out okay we want this person playing like for example like that chamber setup definitely looks like something they talked about all right we yep. have our chamber lurk on to be be long and looking for those those off shots or or vandal you know just rifling mm -hmm. just there's definitely strategy going into there, and I can't wait to see that more develop. Oh, yeah, because they, they did have some good plays. They did have some really great plays, and they just got to be really careful. Like, for example, using their utils, not getting booped by the roof of a doorway. Yeah. And they use their ult. Like, that, yeah. you got to be really careful with just that. Just unlucky stuff like that, yeah. Yeah. I mean, and that comes with reps. Oh, and, yeah. And that, that's such the that's yeah. a really good thing, honestly, about the NACC. Doing four activation matches is a lot and is, oh, yeah. is a crazy amount to it do. It nerve-wracking, too. Yeah. yeah. But... It, it does mean that these newer teams, these new rosters, get chances to like test out strategy, test out like maybe even comm structures. That's a big thing that oh, yeah. is really difficult to find. Just testing out exactly who is the best IGL, who can call the best, who has the best plans, who can just frag like nobody's business. And clearly, the pioneers know that their Reina is a yeah, fragger. Yeah, she, she's you know? a front runner on their <laughs> team right now. And, like, and I'd say that what our team needs to do is just sit down, write some strats down, keep yeah. those in mind, practice them, you know, just yeah. work, look over what they need to work on. And, and yeah, so, so just maybe, maybe even calming down a little bit because it's yeah, just looked a nerves. little flustered towards yeah. the end. And 
honestly, like, that makes so much sense. Like, even just coming from Overwatch, that's something that happens even too in games. Oh, yeah. It's like, oh my goodness, what is going on? Ah, yeah, and, and then, it's so chaotic, yeah. especially when you don't have your ults and you don't win your ult battles, even if yeah. your whole team has your ults. Like, it's, yeah. it just makes no sense, right? And you, and you saw those rounds come so close, too. Like, it was a 13-4 scoreline, but yeah. so many of those rounds were just, like, really just Oh, especially in the so beginning. Close. Yeah. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. So, such close rounds. I mean, we were, like, I think 3-4 and four at one point. We were 3-3. Three and three. We were such close in the yeah. beginning. But then, really, the reign of finding out that, that just... Just those lurks, she, man. Just <laughs> she found out how they, they played, and they played sticking together, like tight. Yeah. And that's that's one thing that I'm really proud of our team because, like I said, yeah. first activation, we, they were not playing like that. Yeah. They were everywhere. Yeah. And, and I now mean, they're tighter, you know, they're, they're closer, yeah. but they just got to be able to read how they're going to play because Irina just flanked every attack round. Yeah. Every attack round. And I think we're almost ready for our interview, so... I don't really know how we hand this off here at the, the, the casting booth, yeah. but you know, thank you for having us. You know, thank cast you. this this match. It was pretty pretty dope. But I am very excited for this interview because we get to hear live from one of the players. Yes. Wah! Yes. Taking it over. All right, guys, I'm back. You have some Jonas on the camera. Firstly, shout out to our casters. That was amazing. Uh, you guys are, wow. <laughs> I don't even, don't even really know where to start. That was awesome, you guys. Um, so, yeah, please come back, please come back, please come back. Um, anyway, I'm here with USM Simlord, the hype man extraordinaire. Oh my goodness, uh, I'm back. He is a uh, big word that I can't remember because it's too late in the night. By Tass, uh, you are the dedicated hype man apparently oh. for the team, according to my pregame interview. Uh, yes. So, uh, coach, yes. coach Love. So. Oh yeah. And honestly, hype is one of the most important things. And while I spectated the game, you know, I I could hear you talking. Uh, you you hold hype to a high degree um, of team building and mm -hmm. team cohesion. Uh, where did that come from? I'm generally a very uh, naturally positive person. I just try and hold a positive outlook on life. And I know that specifically in Valorant, but in a lot of things, having that good attitude, that good mental, as gamers call it, but that good attitude just kind of pushes you through and it can turn some of the worst situations into some of the best ones just by having that smile on your face, by making a silly joke, by making it something that isn't as dismal and just making it a fun scenario. That's, yeah. that's a great way to look at it. Um, you know, an unfortunate outcome to the game, mm -hmm. uh, but as, as a player individual, what do you think is the thing that, what is, 
what are you going to take away from this loss as you move into next week? It's just an activation game, yeah. but there's still a lot of things to learn. Yeah. I think a lot of it was we're still kind of getting used to playing as a team. This was only the second time that the main roster or the starting roster has been able to play as a team as a whole. Uh, we've only been able to play one other scrim or in one practice just as a main roster. And so I think we're still kind of getting used to each other, getting used to how we play, getting used to listening to our IGL Yuka, getting used to just making communication, peaking the right angles, and yeah. There, that's a great way to look at it. Um, of course, a lot of things happen as you build up, and you're setting up a really good foundation here. Um, you guys are really friendly with each other, uh, really easy with the strategies, uh, and when things go wrong, you're there to pick things up. Um, there's a lot of good plays, too. Um, there were several, those, the four rounds you guys won, it was methodical, piece by piece. Mm -hmm. uh, you guys made things happen. You were very close in many other rounds. Um, and, you know, all in all, I think it was a really good game, a lot of learning, uh, and, you know, something I wanted to ask you about, mm -hmm. on my side with the spectators, I noticed a lot of others viewing the VOD or viewing the stream. Is this for VOD review later from the USM Gold team, or is this people who review the VOD with you? Is this like an like a analysis type of thing? So the coach uh, over all uh, both teams is uh, USM Yumika, and her and USM Tsukiko, they both watch pretty much every game that we play. They record every game that we play, and we use all of them for VOD review. We pretty much take any chance we can to VOD review because looking back at those mistakes can mean the difference between taking the win versus taking the L. And we, it's, it's kind of a hard thing because you have to look at your mistakes and recognize that you made them. But we like taking the opportunity to pick out those things learn from our mistakes and just generally work together as a team yeah and lastly well maybe not lastly you never know yeah but playing this late at night honestly this this may be the latest game uh that we've ever started at this time <laughs> we have played games that started earlier and lasted later but a 9 p.m start time and a potential 10 p.m start time was pretty late how do you think that plays into how you guys play uh, I think a lot of us were kind of dreading the late start time. A lot of, obviously, we're all college students, and some of us, a lot of us, are freshmen, and so we're dealing with a near full course load uh, of stuff that we're maybe not the best at. Whereas we have, uh, I believe, a sophomore and a senior on the team who may have had slightly lighter course loads, but we were all kind of uh, exhausted from the school day. I know a lot of us, we took naps, I slept on the couch. Um, we ate something, we tried and just rested as much as possible in between the end of our days and the start of the game so that we'd be as prepared as we could for this uh, r surprisingly late start time. And will this, will this be a thing that happens throughout the rest of the season, or is this just a one-off kind of fluke of a start time? It kind of depends. A lot of the players have odd schedules where we have classes that go a little bit later into the day. And so uh, hopefully our games will be starting around 7 to 8. That is yeah. a fingers crossed, knock on wood situation. Yeah. But uh, they could be starting later. <laughs> yeah, they could be starting later. We really don't know. But for what it is, we did our best. We... Yeah try to do what we could as a team. Obviously, the more we play, if we start later, the more consistently we start later, the more used to it we'll get, and it'll all just kind of hopefully fall into place. Um, but yeah, it's kind of a, we really don't know, and we'll kind of find out on a week by week basis. Yeah, uh, you know, well, great games. You're such a natural born interviewer. Uh, I really could not have gotten better answers at this late an hour from yeah. anyone else. Uh, is there anything you want to tell the viewers as as this stream comes to a close, as the games come to an end? Mm -hmm. Is there anything you would like the viewers to know moving on? Um, obviously, this isn't the last that you'll see of us. This isn't the last you'll see of me. You'll probably hear from a lot of the other players. I will be making them interview. None of them can hear me right now. I will be making them interview. Um, but yeah, there's definitely more to come. We will be getting better, and we hope to, uh, we hope to see you at the next stream. Well, then that... That will be that. This is USM Simlor, everyone. Huh? I'm going to hop on. You're going to hop on? Okay. Uh, so that was USM Simlor, guys. Uh, shout out to the Valorant team. They played their hearts out. Shout out to the Rocket League team. We've had some great games today. Lots to look forward to in this season and a lot of bright personalities for us to interview. Uh, and now i got production manager Haydino coming on for a few seconds to say some words. Hey guys, just wanted to come on stream real quick and apologize. Uh, we had some technical difficulties. Um, I don't remember if we had any or how many we had during Rocket League. Uh, but Valorant beginning, we uh, we just couldn't figure out what was wrong with the audio <laughs> for a while. It was weird. I, I it was, was watching, really weird. Didn't make any sense, and the fix has never had to happen before. Yeah, we've never had to to change what we did. But I just want to come on and just personally apologize 
I also want to personally thank our casters. This was their first time casting Valorant. This was our first Valorant stream. They did an amazing job tonight. Yes. And you and Zach on Rocket League, another fantastic duo. Zach's first time casting or being on a stream almost yeah. ever. So, I mean, just major props to everyone here. I want to thank our crew that helped us with cameras, with spectator mode. Um, this Everything that goes on uh, on stream is the work of a, an absurd amount of people. So I just yeah. want to come on and, and thank everyone and apologize for the The error was on my part. It was not on any of the, the crew's fault. Yes. It was, it was on my fault. Thank you to everyone in production, uh, all those whose names don't get said and don't get seen on camera, who are operating the cameras, operating the spectators, uh, running mod for the streams. Um, I mean, he's right. This whole stream is built on graphics made by people, uh, cameras operated, uh, streams being run, problems being solved. Um, the guys you see on the camera are a very small part of the equation. Uh, and while we may be on camera, we are not the ones who are doing all the work. Uh, so shout out to all members of production and graphic design for doing everything that you guys do. Um, I've got caster extraordinaire <laughs> Sam right here. Uh, real fast, we're going to do a mic to mic interview. Uh, how do you feel about casting your first game? It was pretty cool. Uh, yeah, I I had stuff to get better at, but I thought it went really well. I also kind of got carried by my other caster, though, low-key, but, you know, that's okay. I think both casters were incredible at their job. You guys are both – you guys actually bounce off of each other so well uh, for your first times. You guys you guys do it like, like me and Heydino did in the past. Uh, Twitch.tv. Yes, Twitch.tv slash Heydino. Drop in. Uh, make him come out of retirement for like the fourth time now. Uh, so get that get that started up. Uh, but is there anything you'd like to tell the people uh, before we close? We're just we're just getting everyone. Okay. Yeah. Um. Overwatch is cool if you guys don't know, and uh, Overwatch will come soon, and you guys should totally watch that because it will be my team, and it will be so cool. It's his team. He's also <laughs> a caster and a player and a coach and a, a captain and leadership. So, yeah. Well, like, what can he not do? Who can stop me? Well, a lot of people. But I'll, I'll yeah, USM. Yeah, a lot of people can stop me. That's a joke. I, I know. I'm only. I'm only human. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Shout out USM higher ups for not kicking us out. Uh, keeping us, keeping it real down here. Uh, we're using the union real late at night, but we're making it. We're keeping it real. Uh, and I, yeah, I think that's going to be about it. Um, so yeah, Southern Miss to the top. This is USM John. signing off. We will see you guys in the uh, coming days.